Hi, it's Tuesday. I'm here again by the Christmas tree as we are journey, taking a journey through the Advent story this month. And one of the themes that jumped out at me as I reread the story is sacrifice. Now, many of us will be sacrificing our time and money to buy that special gift for that loved one. But in the Advent story, the sacrifice was not temporary. It was a surrendering of your own life. And Jesus exemplified that by leaving his throne and, and, and being born in a manger. But the one character that I love is Mary. Mary was a teenager. She was engaged to um, Joseph. And the Bible says in Luke chapter 1 that an angel appeared to her and said, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have been found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son. And he shall, you shall call his name Jesus. And he will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And she says, How can this be? I am a virgin. And see, put yourself in the story. You're a teenager engaged to be married. And now you're going to be with child. Wait, in those days, uh, that was death by stoning. Forget the, the, the ridicule that Mary faced all her life. Because the whispers, right? You know, that child is not Joseph. And imagine the, the fear that she had. Because she knew what was about to happen as far as the ridicule, the shame, probably her parents diso disowning her, Joseph walking away. But see, as we look at sacrifice, notice what Mary says. Behold, your maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And that's Luke chapter 1, verse 38. And that hit me. Behold, the maidservant of the Lord. The Lord. I am the Lord's servant. Whatever your will is, let it be. And that's the question I want to leave us. Are we really the Lord's servants? Or are we just going along with this? As long as everything is comfortable for us, as long as everything is, is neat and clean. But uh, will we abandon the Lord's mission when it gets dirty and messy? Are we willing to face the ridicule? Are we willing to face the pain, the abandonment that it, that it means to follow and to be the Lord's servant? Because Mary exemplified sacrifice. But Jesus also, I want you to understand and remember this. Jesus came as a baby. And at any point, if he would have sinned in thought, game over. Not only would you and I be lost, the world would be lost. But Jesus would have been lost as well. That is sacrifice. So, as we get ready for the Advent season, I want, us to, I want to invite you and challenge you that we may echo not only the words, not only the sentiment, but also the action. We are the Lord's servant. May your will be done. And that's my thought as I sit next to a Christmas tree. God bless you. See you tomorrow.